we got some pretty nasty wind storms, uh, tornado warnings uh, w west and a little bit north of us here. So I hope everybody's safe. Uh, it did have, uh, half, half, had to is a strong word. It's more like I've needed to do this for a long time and I'm going to try to do some of it today. So I'm going to do a time lapse. If it turns out okay, I'll post it. If it's stupid, then I won't, hopefully. Uh, but I need to actually start organizing things better in here. And so that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, this desk and chair are going to mom's eventually. The chair is a little bit rickety, so I'm going to be trying to do a glue up and fra reframing of that. But everything else needs to, well, especially the tools, I, I need to get to the point where I've got them at hand, but not at hand in a pile and uh, really try to put them to work. And I got a, I had a curb find the other day. Uh, this, uh, this table saw uh, output extender and it's kind of beat up. It's a little rusty and it's a little bent, but I put some silicone spray on the axle and it, it works. So I'm thinking about taking this table out so I have easier access to the wood and yeah, I will be giving up a little bit of workspace, but all I do is pile stuff on it. So anyway, uh, we're going to try to see, boy, it'd be great, great to get the uh, compound miter saw out and the sander, uh, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, planer. That'd be really, really good. And it might be good to get the soldering station out of so much dust. I'm going to have so much stuff to clean up. I want to make some places for some of these uh, Forstner bits and chisels and other things. Uh, and then I've got this, this is another, like, not a curb find, but I found this long book rack, or coat rack, sorry, uh, that, again, I've just been piling stuff on. But I really want to French cleat this if I can find a spot in the garage where I can do that or at least get it up somehow and that's a be a nice little setup storage shelf got a vise I need to set up and got a workbench here that could be two and then I, I mentioned in a previous video some other wood that I want to half lap uh, and into another work surface hopefully on wheels that I can take in and out and then I've got some other pallets to break down and man, these are some monsters. I got them at a sign company. Our, uh, the company I work for uh, does their lawn. Uh, we fertilize their lawn and I usually do it. And they've been nice to let me grab some stuff. And man, there is some very interesting wood. I don't know how straight it is or if it's going to be usable at this length, but I could not pass up trying to get some of this stuff. So yes, I am blessed and grateful and I'm looking forward to digging into this. We got rained out of work today, so I've got four or five hours. If I decide to use it for this, I think I could end up with some improved efficiency. Let's see how it goes. At this point, all I've really done is basically move a bunch of stuff out of the way so that I can, and pile, make some more piles so that I can maybe start getting things in some more efficiently useful places. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But man, look at this. Look at this coat rack. I, I'm thinking it must have come out of a school. And honestly, I can't remember where I got it. No, I think I bought it at Restore. Now that I think about it, I think I got it at Restore for like 10 bucks or something. It's ridiculous. All right. There are still a lot of things that aren't in any place that they can stay because Cousin Carol... <laughs> It's her garage, and her car has to go in the garage. Uh, so uh, she's evidently out today, and that means that I've been able to have a lot of room to work. But I, before I leave tonight, it has to kind of all be back in place. But this just gave me a chance to show that this old restaurant counter that I was given... Um, I think is going to serve as the miter saw station. I've got this generator 
that I thought I was going to be using when I had a little house that I thought I might be able to um, kind of refurbish that I'm really glad I've got, but it's in the way as far as that goes. I don't think that the planer can go on this counter along with the saw, but maybe that mobile station that I want to make with these boards can uh, be a space for that. Uh, it would be great if I could kind of show off this tabletop that I made out of old scrap 2 by 4s but I do like this extra workspace that this really heavy pallet provides. So for now, that's staying there. Here is my super cheap on Amazon. Been in the box for five years. 10 inch sliding compound miter saw. And boy, won't it be nice if that thing actually works uh, and that it uh, is not uh, a piece of junk. We're going to find out. Uh, the other thing is, and I think I'm going to do a little... Oh, uh, unboxing of this is I've got a win circular saw that is electric powered that I, the only circular saw I've had is a battery powered and sometimes it's just not tough enough so that is probably going to be on this table along with the Bora equipment that is a straight edge track saw kind of setup and so I think, again, that the miter saw is going to go here in a way that probably I could set up some stop blocks and maybe some measuring, extended measuring or something, especially if I get this cleared off and I can spread it all the way out. What I'm thinking also about doing is making uh, scrap wood table covers that... For example, on this one, which is about, I think, three feet by two feet, maybe. Uh, really cool old kind of office work desk of some kind. I uh, got somewhere, I don't remember. But if I make a three foot by four foot or even five foot uh, top to go over it with two by fours that just kind of make it slide over the top of that, then... When I need a bigger workplace, I can have that and then take it off and be back to this table. So I could pull this table out, set the table, the extra tabletop on it, and have a larger, stable workplace. We'll see how that goes. That's another thing that's on the to-do list. But this is, I think this is going to be, even when I move stuff back in, I think this is going to be much more usable and... I'm really looking forward to seeing how that all turns out. And that, of course, means that I am blessed and grateful, not only in the good times, especially in the bad times, but I want to celebrate uh, just having the, some free time today, not getting paid, but, but some free time because of the weather where I get to uh, work on this stuff. And I appreciate the chance to kind of walk through it with you and I'd, if you've got some ideas for things that I could improve, or if you spot something that uh, is a great way to set a combination of tools up or something like that, I, I'd be thrilled to hear it. And I look forward to though, any comments you might have, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks again. And just like that, the plan falls apart. <laughs> this is actually better than I remembered but it won't work to run it on this table because it uh, pulls out so far, goes back in so far. I am really excited to use this thing. I started it up. It does run. And uh, I'm going to have to work on that idea of this as uh, maybe the saw table. And maybe put a top over it so that I can fasten it down or make it so that it can be fastened. Uh, real, this is a big step up if I can get this, when I get this thing set up. For now, this is where I've gotten. I've got some shipping boxes to get rid of. I'd like to get that canopy over with the RV. But this does open this space up quite a bit, so I can potentially do something with this table to turn it into the saw table. 
and maybe this thing can work for the planer sometimes went ahead and got it out i'm not going to try to do unboxing videos <laughs> uh very often and the, this one's been done many times i'm sure so that's about three hours worth of work and i think it was pretty productive and there's still a long way to go but um I'm glad I got the chance to do this. And yes, the rain has been coming down. The wind has been gusting. Uh, it's looking pretty grim out there right now. And so I'm going to get back to the RV and make sure nothing's blown away. Real quick, here is the glue up that I've done. It's kind of hard to see that one. And that's better. And we'll see if it doesn't split when I take the clamps off. If I just have a feeling if I... If I put another screw in that, those boards are going to split uh, sideways, uh, you know, width-wise and, and maybe lengthwise. So this has been the It's About Time You Actually Did Something With This Stuff episode of Debt End Street. Thanks for coming along.